G'day OBS streamers, welcome to the Blue Cool Studio tonight. Now the reason you're here is probably because you've had the same frustration that I've had when you're trying to add a video source inside of OBS and resize it and whether or not doing that on the fly or, or doing that beforehand and it, it does add a little bit of confusion. I don't think OBS is quite intuitive uh, in this respect when it does that. It does a lot of other things very well. Now I've got a video out there showing you how to do that but one of our smart viewers is, is it actually come up with something that's probably even smarter than what we were doing previously by pulling the uh, pulling the the media source into the new source and then which shows up inside studio mode in the preview screen but you can't see it and you don't really know where it is or it's not sized in the right place because you can't find it and then you have to push it across to the the program screen which when you're doing a live stream isn't very professional and then pull it back to your preview screen, resize it, and then send it back over again to your program live screen. So we've got a very good solution for all of that. Now let's follow follow this, and I think you'll find it is quite easy. So if we, let's just, in this one here, let's just go add a new media source to our sources list for this scene. Just call it a generic name. We'll go find the video that we want. Let's use one of our old broadcasts, this one here. Just keep all that the same. All right, now you see the little red square in the corner. That doesn't tell you anything about where the video is other than it probably starts in that corner and you don't know what size it is. Is it going to be full screen? Is it going to cover anything else? We just don't know. Okay, so the best thing to do is go down to the, the source that we've just added, so the new media source. Hit the right-click button, go to Transform, and then come down here and you can go Fit to Screen, if you like and now you can see where it's going to be at so because we can't see the source at the moment because it's hidden it's not it'll start the playback when it's live when it goes into the program screen uh, we now know that it's going to fit inside of that red box which is perfect so if I go over here to the move screen look at that perfect so you can do all that off air and you can do that while you're running your broadcast and doing something else in that preview screen by using this method and that makes it real simple. You move it back again. It's not quite big enough. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There you go. And it's resized. How simple is that? What a top tip from a great viewer. And uh, all... All credit to you, sir. So thank you so much. That's actually helped me out a bunch. And I think that simplified the process for a whole lot more people. So well done. Happy streaming. See you on a live stream and in another video soon. Cheers so much.